Bubbles of magma reveal secrets of volcanic eruptions. The pressure and depth at which bubbles are trapped provide more precise measurements of magma movement and could help better predict eruptions. Geologists turn to tiny bubbles to investigate the dynamics that drive magma flow beneath Hawaii's volcanoes as the nation's islands shift northwest on tectonic plates. They found that as the islands move away from the hot spot that fueled Kilauea on the Big Island, the magma flow not only slows but also shifts deeper underground. This challenges the long-held notion that eruptions are fueled by magma stored in the Earth's crust and suggests the new possibility that magma is stored and matures in the Earth's mantle and that eruptions are fueled from this deep mantle reservoir, says Esteban Gazelle, a Cornell University scientist. The scientists used a technique that will help improve their understanding of what causes eruptions and help them predict them more accurately. They focused on tiny gas bubbles trapped inside magma crystals, a phenomenon called fluid inclusions. Calculating the pressure and depth at which these bubbles are trapped gives scientists more precise information about magma activity. This technology allows us to measure pressure at depth with uncertainties of hundreds of meters, which is very, very precise at depths of tens of kilometers below the surface, Gazelle said. Previously, measuring magma storage was much more difficult with uncertainties that could be kilometers long. The scientists applied this method to samples from three Hawaiian volcanoes at different stages of their lives. Hilauea's magma was stored at a relatively shallow depth of about a mile. They found two areas of magma storage beneath Haleakala, one shallower a little more than a mile below the surface, and one deeper, 12 to 16 miles into the Earth's mantle. Diamond Head, on the island of Oahu, showed magma storage about 13 to 18 miles into the Earth's mantle. Knowing these precise depths is important because understanding what triggers eruptions is one of the most important constraints on where magma is stored. That's important for physical models that explain eruptive processes and is needed to assess volcanic risk, Gazelle said. Hilauea erupted for the 23rd time in five months over the weekend. The eruptions have been separated by brief lulls in activity since then according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The lulls can last anywhere from 24 hours to 12 days. Kilauea stopped again on Monday. Video footage from the USGS showed the volcano erupting with lava as molten liquid splashed across the dark, scorched mountain like paint on a blank canvas. Each jet of lava splashed across the mountain, creating a larger crater above the volcano's main vent. According to the National Park Service, a vent is an opening or place on the Earth's surface where magma or volcanic gas is released. A fountain of molten fire erupted from the volcano's main vent, with the USGS estimating it to be more than 500 feet high. The powerful, consistent eruptions created lava flows along the base of the mountain.
officials said the eruption occurred in a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The main concern is the high levels of volcanic gas that could have a wide impact downwind. Officials are closely monitoring Kilauea and will issue updates if significant changes occur.